Like, look at our top, you know, our guys that are coming up right now in Javante and in the Terrence Crawford, Errol Spence, you know, all these guys. They're all, you know, well, how do they fight? They're all very technically sound and very good boxers, but at the same time they come out, and you know they're coming out to fight. I can't think of, you know, any of the top guys that are just genuinely not trying to. I feel like for a while there that was the way it was, like all the pros- like prospects and things like that. It's, you know, it needs to get back to that. I feel like it is lately. Well, they were even trying to give uh, uh, Devin Haney a tough time over the weekend, but he just had a knockout of the year a year ago. So it's like he's still capable of, of doing those kind of things. But That's something, yeah. that, man. And Devin, he does that too. He's, he's probably the most technical out of all of them. But, man, like that fight, like what more could he – I didn't even – I caught the highlights because I'm over here in Paris, and uh, it was so late. It was like middle of the night, like 4 in the morning when uh, he fought. But uh, – so I, I went to bed. I caught the highlights in the morning. But people are so – I don't understand. Like, I don't get it. How does Devin have no power when he just had the knockout of the year last year? What are you talking about? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. And Javante uh, took – so let's think about it. Javante, the previous fight to the Leo Santa Cruz fight, went 12 with him. Dropped him a few times, yeah, but went 12 with him. Who was claiming that Devin Haney hit as hard as Javante? <laughs> you know, and Javante went 12 with him, got knocked him out in the 12th round. So now Javante had no, had no stamina. That's why he couldn't knock out uh, Gamboa. I mean, sooner than that. Right. So now Gamboa comes in with the, one of the best in the world that just had a uh, big knockout, uh, knockout of the year type. A plus win. performance, right. A plus performance two fights ago. Couple of them, couple really good. Broke a dude's cheekbone in the next fight after that fight. So now he's fighting Gamble, goes 12 rounds with him and completely shuts him down. You know, buzzed him a few different times. Didn't hurt him necessarily where he was like wobbly, but not that I saw in the highlights, but buzzed him, hit him with some big shots. Doesn't knock him out. When are we going to start saying maybe Gambo is just really good at surviving? You know, like he, so like when's the last time I really saw him getting. I don't even know, but I'm just saying if he just got in there with two of the best in the world and went 12 with both of them, got knocked out in the 12th of one, and one was just the next fight has the knockout of the year, you know, then what maybe Gamble was just really crafty. Maybe he did win that gold year. medal for a reason after all. Yeah, maybe he won the Olympic gold for, you know, he may be old, but guys don't realize people don't lose. The people get more crafty as they get older because they have to do more. They have to do more to survive. They got to get better at the survival tactics and things like that. When are we going to start giving credit instead of just tearing people down? It just it doesn't make sense. I would expect a couple comments like that, a couple of things said that are just ignorant. But the whole – everything you see is that. That's all you see. I mean, I've been checking them just to see if anyone's going to speak any type of, uh, you know, like how is that – like give us a break, man. What is – What's he got to do? He just shut, box a shutout. I think every fight's going to be a knockout. How can you say a guy's got no power that just had you – know, who was claiming that he hit as hard as Javante, like I said? That's a great point. That's a great point. Who was claiming that? Javante's the hardest hitter. Uh, probably one of two hardest hitters in boxing, in my opinion. So he right, went but if people saying Deb's going to be great, they're not saying it because he punches as hard as Tank Davis. That was never exactly. an argument in his favor. 100%. It's because he's a clean, defensive, extremely technical boxer, and that's what he showed. He showed the same thing. So, Who do you see as my, the top dog between Tank, T.O., and, and Dev? I mean, they got to fight. Question, they got to fight each other. Yeah. Who do you see coming out on, on top? Dude, that's a good question. Yeah. That's a really good question. It's hard because – they all are so unique. If I had to say, I think Tia Fimo is the best, is the best one. Cause not because of his last win, because I also see that. Like everybody was completely dogging Tia Fimo before the Lomachenko fight, that he had no business being in there with Lomachenko and he was just going to get absolutely schooled. You can find me on YouTube telling everybody that Tia Fimo was going to win the me fight. Too, because I felt like just, I just actually you know, was thinking about um, – I was actually thinking about 
Lomachenko's previous fights, Tiafimo's previous fights, and putting them together, I thought Tiafimo was going to win the fight. I just, I, I imagine that. But uh, now everybody's like, Tiafimo beats them all. Like, I'm like, you guys did not say that like a month ago. You know, you guys didn't say that. So uh, I'm not saying it because of that. I'm saying it because if you actually look at all their styles, Devin is extremely clean, technical. He's got a really nice shoulder roll. You know, he's got a great style, but isn't the most powerful out of the three. Then you've got Javante, who is the most powerful out of the three. But in my opinion, I think he's got some defensive uh, lackings. Like he gets touched a lot because – a lot of which because he doesn't care. He's like kind of like what we were talking about at the beginning. He's just like, I'm just coming, you know, if I get hit, I get hit. It's all good. He, he got hit a little bit against Gamboa and against uh, uh, Leo. But then I think Tiafimo has got really good technical boxing skills and uh, defense, and he's got that power, that crack, you know, that really big shot, which I think Devin does too, but I think uh, Tio's just got a, right in the middle of Javante and Devin, I think that makes him the most complete fighter out of the two, out of the three, because of that, because he's got that power and that technicality. So I would say I'd have to pick Teal in a really tough call. Like I couldn't even, you know, put money on that or anything. I don't know who's going to come out on top. It's logical what you're saying, though, is one guy's the most technical, the other guy punches the hardest. Teal's the guy who has both. Yeah, so that's where I'm coming from. Yep. Got it. Got it. Yep. 